Hi guys, finally I get a capacitor from Mauser for this uh, Sony amplifier model TA1140. So in this video I'm gonna change all the capacitors. So without further ado, let's get started. First I start to take out the two screws that hold in place the amplifier board and taking the board out from its place I will be able to change all these electrolytic capacitors. To remove the old capacitor from the board I will use this desoldering station and I will use the T12 soldering station to solder in place all the new capacitors. I start removing the two old 10 volts 220 microfarad capacitors and I replenish them with two Nichicon gold 35 volts 200 120 microfarad capacitors and solder them in place. Then I desolder two old 6.3 volts 47 microfarad capacitors and I replenish them with two new 16 volt 47 microfarad Nichicon gold capacitors and I solder them in the place as well. Next I take out four old 50 volts 100 microfarad capacitors and I replenish them with for new Nichicon Brown 63 volts 100 microfarad capacitors and solder them on the PCB. And the job was done here. So I put the board back to its place and fix it in place with the two screws making sure that are tight enough. Next step is to remove all the knobs and buttons from the front panel in order to don't scratch them while you are removing the front panel to reach the phono stage board and the preamplifier board. In order to remove the front panel there is 11 screws that need to unscrew them. Once you remove the screws gentle remove the front panel and I will start with the phono stage board by removing the two old 10 volts 470 microfiber capacitors and replenish them with two new Sprague 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitors and solder them on the PCB. Next I remove the two old 10 volts 10 microfarad capacitors and replenish them with two new 50 volts 10 microfarad Nichicon gold capacitors and solder them in place. Then removing the two old 6.3 volts 47 microfarad capacitors, I replenish them with two new Nichicon Gold 16 volt 47 microfarad capacitors and solder them on the PCB as well. And the last two old capacitor on the phono stage board was 25 volts 1 microfarad and I replenish them with 50 volts 1 microfarad Nichicon Gold capacitors which I solder them back to them place. Then I move to the preamplifier board and I start by removing the old 6.3 volt 100 microfarad capacitors and I replenish that with 16 volt 100 microfarad Nichicon gold capacitor and solder in place. The next one was the old 50 volt 47 microfarad capacitor and I replenish with the new one 63 volt 47 microfarad Nichicon brown and I solder it on the board. Then I remove the old 35 volts 220 microfarad capacitor and I replenish that with the new Nichicon Gold 35 volt 220 microfarad capacitor and solder it back to its place. And removing the old 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitor, I replenish it with the new Sprague 35 volts 470 microfarad capacitor and solder it on the PCB. Next step was removing two old 25 volt 10 microfarad capacitors and I replenish them with two new Nichicon Gold 50 volt 10 microfarad capacitors and solder them on the board. Then I desolder two old 25 volt 3.3 microfarad capacitors and I replenish them with two new 50 volt 3.3 microfarad Nichicon gold capacitors and I solder them back to them place. Next I removed again two old 10 microfarad 25 volt capacitors and I replenish them with two new Nichicon gold 10 microfarad 25 volt capacitors which I solder them on the PCB. Next on this recapping adventure was two old 50 volt 1 microfarad capacitors which I replenish them with two new 50 volt 1 microfarad Nichicon gold capacitors and I solder them back on the board. Then I desolder the two old 6.3 volts 47 microfarad capacitors and I replenish them with two new 47 microfarad 16 volts Nichicon gold capacitors and solder them back to their place. Was the last one on the preamplifier board which is 100 microfarad 50 volt that I replenish it with the new Nichicon brown 100 microfarad 63 volts that I forgot to turn on the camera. 
Once we finished with the preamplifier board, next step is to change the smoothing capacitors, which are part of the power supply. And here we have two old 4700 microfarad 50 volts and one at 63 volt 1000 microfarad, which I desolder all the wires from them. Then we need to take out these three screws that keep in place the capacitors and just by removing one by one from the amplifier chassis, we will be able to remove the ring clips and use them for the new capacitors to put them back in the chassis and using three screws to fix them tight enough into its place. While I was stripping some wires to use for ground connection between these capacitors, I managed to cut my finger, so please be careful when you are doing this job. To replenish these capacitors, I used two new Nichicon 63V 6800 microfarad, and the other one instead of 1000 microfarad, I replenish it with the new Nichicon 63V 2200 microfarad. And next step is to solder all the wires to these capacitors, and please make sure you make some notes or use some sign in order to don't mix them, and to make sure you will solder each wire to the right place, because this is the power supply. And and you don't want to mess up with the polarity and turn into magic smoke all the work you put in changing all the capacitor to this amplifier. Once we finished with all the soldering, I suggest you also to remove the screws that are holding in place the heat sinks and give fresh thermal paste to the power transistors. And to do this, it's easy. Just start to remove the transistor one at a time by removing the two screws which are keeping the transistor in place on the heatsink. Then just remove the old thermal paste from the heatsink, from the mica insulator, and from the power transistor. And then start applying the thermal paste on the heatsink, put back the mica insulator, and apply a little bit of thermal paste on the power transistor, and mount it back to its place by tightening the screws enough and avoid to over tighten them because it will destroy the thread. After we are done with the thermal paste, make sure you check the power transistor to don't get shorted by mistake to the heatsink by using a multimeter in continuity mode and check one by one all the transistors. If you don't have any short, then it's time to install back to its place the heat sinks by using the four screws to tie them enough and we can say that all the job is done to this amplifier. So now it's time for some tests. First, I connected the Dumilod resistor to the output to check the DC offset voltage and looks good, just 5 millivolts which is almost nothing. Next, I connected the oscilloscope probes to the amplifier output to check the sine wave form. Using a signal generator, I injected 1 kHz sine wave signal and the amplifier was doing well. Happy with the test, I put back the front panel and start putting all the knobs and buttons back. And at the end, put back the chassis cover as well. And using the four screw to tie the chassis cover, we can say that all the job was done perfectly. And is ready now for a sound test. So I connected the key F speakers and using the two microphones in stereo mode to record the sound that I will let you enjoy guys. Nothing more to say, just I will press play.
was all for this video guys if you enjoy watching this video please give me a like if you are not yet subscribed to my channel and you want to support my channel please subscribe and hit the notification bell like that you'll be notified when i come with the new videos until the next video guys stay safe and have a good day bye bye